something super cool to share with you today. Can't wait to do this restoration project. Uh, you're not going to be able to see the condition of it. It's very old. It's been stored for about 20 years. Let's get out of there. Let's have a look at it. Look at this. 164 Cloverleaf with the V6. Looks in good nick, but the paint is absolutely... Just to give you an idea, everything's corroded. And we are going to work our magic and restore this beautiful machine back to its former glory. I can't wait. So we've got quite a bit to do. So we've got bodywork restoration to do uh, with the dual stage correction. We're going to do something with these plastics. I'm not sure quite what I'm going to do with them, but I'm going to do something. We've got engine bay detail to do. Right, so what we're gonna do now, guys, is we're steaming every inch of this interior. We're gonna steam out all the shuts, all these areas, the bottoms of the doors, the plastics, the backs of the seats, everything. And then we're gonna extract the carpets. Gotta be careful because I don't wanna lose the color. Obviously, steam's quite hot. So we're gonna be working our way through this. I'll repack all these with grease. Right, this leather is going to be filthy. This car has been stored for ages. So this might look quite extreme what I'm about to do or what we're about to do, but I rest assured we're using soft brushes. It's not gonna harm anything. And I've done a little test patch on the underside of the front seat. I know it's going to be able to withstand it. The leather is like, it is really, really uh, tough stuff. So we're going to have a real good go at this and see what we can achieve. That, that smells a lot better. smiling because he's, he's giving me jokes here guys <laughs> my favorite leather uh, conditioner is gliptone anybody that's old school in this name will know gliptone and this is like i've got half a bottle left there is not much and that's it i think it's uh, it's discontinued now unless somebody's taken it over but you literally guys clean the leather properly as you can see it's looking a lot more dull and we're just gonna We've got to try and spread it because we don't want it to sit in these holes. Gives it a really nice smell. And we're just softening back up this level because it is quite hard and dry. Really probably needs a couple of applications of this over the next coming three or four months. So I'll be talking to the owner who's probably watching this, Harry get some of this leather conditioner and keep this leather supple but that smells so much better brings back the leather smell and we're just going to do that for the rest of the interior and uh yeah we'll call that a day
and work out the paint depths so I know what I'm doing here, I know what I'm cutting, um, and I'll be doing that across the whole car to ensure that we don't burn through any of these, these uh, you know, this paint. Some of this looks original, some of it isn't. Um, I mean, look at the level of degradation in the paint. There's absolutely no sort of reflection real back. It's very, it's almost like matte across the car. So that is what we are gonna be proceeding with now. Neil's just coming back with our Starbucks or Costa. Lovely. Yeah, this is tricky, really, really tricky. We're getting like a film across the paint, cutting it quite well, or well massively, compared to where it was before, absolutely massive, which you would have seen from the test pack. But it's leaving like an oil film on it, so we're, we're just gonna keep playing. The pads are getting really clogged up, so it's using that. I actually think the paint is probably damaged, because this bonnet looked like it was on the edge of oxidizing, and I think we're just, you know, all, we're getting it better than it was. Uh, and I'm hoping to mop some of this up with that second pass. Really enjoying using the, uh, the cordless. It just feels great on this, especially as I'm moving around. I need that kind of flexibility. This machine is just proving it's, it's, you know, proving it's worth it. So I'm really enjoying it. And this is a massive test, again, for this machine. So we're going to carry on anyway. Here's the wing. Bonnet has had its first cut. Look at the difference. Look at that to that. Insane. I can't wait to get this one finished up and do the final reveal on it. So, wing is tricky. I think I'm going to hit this top swage as one. And then I'm actually going to do half this section, but there is something on this paint. I can see it already. Uh, I'm going to do half this section, half over there, really being careful on these points here. I don't want it bridging and burning here or up here. So really slow, careful work. Right, guys, so, something interesting's happening here. So, the cut work is doing an amazing job. Look at the difference, I mean, it's literally scrap. But, we're getting this haze across the paint. So I'm gonna try and do some work to eradicate that on the second stage. It might not be, it might not be something we can do because it comes back out the clear, so it might even be just degraded, old clear. I'm almost certain it is. But the difference is night and day. So I'm happy with that, but I'd love to try and clear up this haze. So that's what we're we'll working on. We've just got the rear of the car to do the roof, and then we're gonna start jumping into the second stage. Remember we were talking about the haze? Like, Neil might be able to catch this. Yeah, I can get it. Can you see it? Yeah. So, this haze is the polish kind of sticking to the clear. Really doesn't look great. We've got an amazing cut. So what we're doing now, we're going to a fine pad. 
We're gonna use ultra fine diamond, which is almost like a gel. Well, in fact, look, it's a gel compound. So it's, it's removing this final haze and just giving us the finish that we want. So we're gonna carry on getting through this now, get this second stage uh, done, and I'll show you the overall completed picture at the end. At least it's uniform. Yeah. Right, so I'm catching this a little bit late at this point, but we have laid up our first ceramic, which is, as you can see, starting to look pretty good now, isn't it? So we've done our first one, which is Crystal Serum Light. Then we are now layering up Crystal, sorry, excuse me, XO V4 to create Crystal Serum Light Black. Really, really hard coating. Five years fully guaranteed. And this is the effect. It starts to really bring out depth, uh, glass, clarity. And it just really seals all our hard work because as you guys saw, this is, you know, it's really looking, from where it was, it was looking terrible. And now it is looking pretty amazing. So Neil's just levering off one side here. We've got the roof to do, and then all we need is the wheels. And she's getting ready to get back, delivered back to the customer. Also painted this little section down here. Lovely. Right, wheels have finally come back. Got that outer lip laved. These look amazing. Car, I'm gonna do the full walk around when it goes outside, because you can't really appreciate it properly. You can with these lights. So I'll give you a quick flash. Doesn't she look amazing? Um, yeah, fantastic. So we've got the graphite gray centers. So much work has been done on this car, right even down to, where are they? We've painted the nuts to match. I'm actually really pleased with how these come out, you know, Neil? I think they look great. And guys, here she is. I'm actually gonna do, this was suggested by Neil, a 50-50, so I'm gonna do it inside. That's the next car that's coming in. So we're gonna do 50% of the shots on the inside, then I'm gonna do a final walk around outside, but look at it, so the wheels are back. We've got the diamond cut face with the gray graphite centers. Man, so much work been done to this. A very, very slow two-stage correction. The paint was almost sticky. We've done, oh, just so many little bits. Touched up the paint in so many areas. Uh, in here was red because the wing was a red wing, so I've wrapped in that inner section. Customer did want me to paint it, but I can't paint that without taking the bonnet off and I'm just, we're just not going there. It's going to start getting silly. Um, Body Works had G-Technic Crystal Serum Light Black. We've wrapped, rubbed down and wrapped these sections. I painted this section down here. Of course, we've got to get to the interior nails reminded me about the interior. So let me just do a little quick shot of this and then we'll do the final piece of resistance. Neil, do me a favor, pull the bonnet as well because we did the engine bay. But here is the interior, guys, look at this. So we literally, as you saw, did some really intensive work and look how it's turned out. Beautiful. You just wouldn't believe the age of this car actually smells really nice in there as well, a lot better. We've left the original tax discs in here. Exhaust tip, just, just what a thing. I'm so pleased with how this has turned out. There's the engine bay. That's come out really well, all cleaned up. So the final shot will be of it outside. Yeah, 
the, the clutch. Just, just look at it. How good does that look? How good does that look? Also, I forgot to mention the, the new badges we put on there. Look at the interior. Look at that, guys. Time warp, time warp condition. We've done a lot of work to get this to this standard. So, so much work, even down to wrapping these sections, as I mentioned. It just looks tremendous. Guys, please like, subscribe, follow. Neil's over there just getting this one ready. Beautiful. So we are working away on the Alpha. Got Mr. Green Flames gas. There's the logo, turn around. There's the logo for everybody. I've got a lot of followers, so go check him out. And he's putting on a, a water heater known fill for nearly 25 years. 25 years now? Yeah. Got, or maybe longer? Longer than that. Yeah, so it's a long, long time. So we that's got my Xbox buddy over here. And we was messing with cars from when we was very, very young, Renault 5. Renault 5 is the one that I can remember the most. Oh. It was, I mean, I'm sure it was like a candy red. Nightfire red. Nightfire red, that's it, so you heard it there. This is what we're working on at the moment. 